Hi, this is Defend Google Technical Analyst of Allies Blue. So, in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. So, now we can see this is a crude oil for our chart, right? So, now crude oil, we have seen a pattern, right? So, here we can see this is double uh, top pattern uh, form. Here was a neckline. So, uh, yesterday, the price just broke this neckline. Have you seen this one neckline? They broke this neckline and retest the previous resistance have you seen this was previous resistance uh, which uh, was i drawn in my previous video so after that they again price uh, retraced which was previously a uh, support right this was previously a uh, support and retraced and now becoming a resistance so what happened exactly when market is like uh, forming like that and suppose this was neckline right this is a neckline so once they break the, the neckline they just price retrace toward this neckline uh, and it it is acting like a resistance so after that price uh, start continue toward uh, the, uh, downside right so now similarly you can see and another thing you can see here according the Elliott wave pattern so if you know this one uh, this is first wave second wave third wave fourth wave and this is the fifth wave uh, this is uh, wave number one and this is uh, price consolidation you can see uh, correction wave it is called second wave and it is impulsive wave and this is the third wave this is corrective wave it is called fourth wave and this is the fifth wave right this is fifth wave and this call uh, fifth fail uh, fail uh, fail to create the fifth wave so if you want to know this uh, regarding uh, about this Elliott wave you just visit uh, to our ant iq page i'll show you uh, this is the ant iq page here and go to indicator and just click on cycle indicator right once you click in cycle indicator you will find here Elliott wave pattern have you seen this is Elliott wave pattern you just click read more right and when you just scroll down and read properly and now you can see uh, have you seen this one right market is failed to create higher point in my previous uh, in my chart in crude oil have you seen this is one wave two wave three four and fifth fifth is not able to break this previous third wave have you seen this is third wave that means this is third wave and retraced to four wave it is called four wave right fail to create higher point that means uh, this is a complete fifth wave failure right so when they are forming this type of wave what market behavior you can go through this page and you can read properly right so now let's check it in our uh, page have you seen they not able to create a new high they failed to break this wave three this was wave three right it is three wave and it is four wave right uh, it is four wave and it is fifth wave fifth wave is failed to break this level so after that when they break this level and start price failing and they create a new <coughs> lower low this was previous higher low right higher low and now it is lower high sorry lower low right this will be lower low and this is uh, fifth wave failure right fifth wave failure to break this one and after that the price just retraced toward previous you can see this was the support now it's acting like a resistance right so after that if their price not able to break so we are expecting price will fell toward uh, 3500 which is um, previously we can see this was a support right so now we can see we already analyzed the market so where is our entry and exit point right so this is our analysis so let's see in a 15 minute time pen so we have seen uh, this range right so let's check in a small time frame like 15 minutes so now you can see 15 minutes they're creating lower low and the lower high have you seen lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and the lower high lower low now they form lower low 
uh, sorry lower high now you can see uh, which I mostly use uh, this Ishimoku Kizu Sen line uh, 60 period so they are acting like a resistance strong resistance and similarly at that time 50 moving average are there right price just push up there was a resistance price fell down right price push up and there is a resistance and price push up uh, fell down right so again there push up there is a resistance line and it is a high probability price fell uh, from that area so that is why it was our entry point for sell right and if you want to enter sell uh, if you want to enter here for the sell direction where is your sl so that is why i want to connect recent at least two to three swing point right let me connect previous uh, point here so have you seen so i want to connect so let me remove this all thing then you comes to know have you seen i just connect this two point or three point as a uh, resistance line right you can see this is a resistance let me connect two points so, right so i connected two recent higher low right this was higher low i just connected and the lower low and this is next higher low i just connected suppose it's a point and this is the b point have you seen and now you can see here is a, we have seen a, a cell for the cell so now let me draw the point where we can place our sl exactly so that is why i want to connect here lower point just leave it uh, okay so let me draw this line so now we can see i just connected this lower point have you seen okay let me change the color so it will it will be good right so let me connect this higher point sorry lower point have you seen i just connected lower point this is the lower point and this is the lower point and similarly we have seen this is strong resistance are there remember so that is why we can place our sl here we can place our sl here similarly if you want to can you see here by using fibonacci right let me draw the fibonacci so a point and b point you can see exactly i just connect lower point higher point so now you can see this was 61 percent retracement of this a b point suppose this is a point and it is a b point so now you can see this is a retracement exactly you can see this was a 50 percent so we want to place here is a 60 percent so we'll place sl just near above 78 percent so right we have seen this is our sl now let me show you total our point have you seen so if you want to enter here so that means uh, it is 70 point is showing uh, sl and here is 50 point and lower here you can see lower point 70 70 so your trading ratio that means one is to one right or some people are what uh, what they are doing like that uh, here you can see this is previous higher point have you seen so the people are using here sl right let me show you sl So here you can see, uh, we can see here SL and it will be around 30, 40 point SL and your target will be 60, at least 1 point, uh, 1 is to uh, 2, almost 70, 80 or you can close your position near to say uh, 60, 70 point, right? If you are on a place here, so if who people have uh, less amount of money, so you want to take 2 percent risk, then you will just close your uh, lot size, right? Who people are taking five lot ten lot so you're going to reduce your lot size uh, to one or two right and then for your money management so we'll close position near this point right why i'm talking like sometime what happened the price bounce to here and start pushing up right and they will create double bottom so first you close your position in this area so once they break this level or sorry uh, retrace this level and price if they break this previous higher point and it will according to the um, price action method they are creating higher high and higher low that will be higher high and higher low right so that is why you close your first position are there right if they 
break this level so further we will go for sell for next target right so that is why you can see here this is your entry point for the sell and close your position here keep your sl just here and uh, close your uh, sl will be here and close your position right so next you can see here if they break this level suppose uh, suppose in case price break this level when price will retrace toward this will be a raise, uh, support previously that was a support and it will be a raise then when after breaking this one and price will push up toward this uh, supporting line it will be a resistance so again it will be a sell position or next target other right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching